Welcome everybody to My Time at Porsche with Raven. This is episode 54. Let's head out and see what the day has brought toward us. All right. Hey kid, got a message from the mayor. He wants you to know that the Alliance Council has made a decision regarding all sorts in the night. He uh -huh. wants you in his office for a meeting today. Got it? Oh uh, yeah, sure, but uh, why does the mayor want me to be there? Well, you've become a very reliable part of our team. So maybe that's why? <sighs> All right, let's go. Ah, glad you could join us. Now that everyone's here, let's start the meeting. This here is Miss Ursula, a captain of the Council Guards. She and her team have been sent here by the Council to reinforce us. I... Yes, yes, let me just get to the point. After listening to the report from Molly, the Council has decided that it's imperative that we find the all-source AI right away. It's essential to the survival of the free cities in the face of adversaries like Duvos. You want to use it against Duvos? That's not for me to say. My mission is to find it and take it back to Aterra for study. You know, I'm never one to stand in the way of progress, and this is going to make me sound like <laughs> Lee. But who made a decision like that? We don't know anything about all source, Mayor. I have received a telegraph from our representative saying that the majority of the council voted for this. I can't believe it myself. Those fools. I brought the passcode key back with me. I'll need the researchers to help us locate the AI. How come Molly didn't come? She's still being debriefed, especially about this rogue knight. She'll come later. What am I here for? We might run into situations where we need builders. So I thought a man of your reputation needed to know. Also, we'll establish a team to look for and eliminate this rogue knight. Arlo, why don't you lead that team? Take one of my men, Ryder. Start with the perimeter of the town. We don't know where he could be hiding. Sure. We'll start looking for the AI right away. I'll be in touch. Any questions? Uh... Good. That is all. <laughs> Meeting adjourned. Oh man, awesome. All right. Well, first man I see that requires that night was a tough. day. I should get my hands on some corrupted tech. Might even the playing field a bit. If we do somehow find this all source AI, I can't imagine how far it'll advance our sciences. I guess I can understand why the council wants to use it against Duvos. It's just that as a researcher, I don't agree. So this Mr. Musa said he's a big sponsor of the Atara Research Institute. I suddenly like him a lot more. <laughs> oh man, I like her. Now where did that date of mine go? Oh, uh, okay. I know. We'll see. Where was he? Oh, there he is. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Uh, yes, invitation. Shall we hang out together tomorrow? Sure, let's do that. 1400, Arlo, you're insane. Marley's okay. among the best of the miracle flying <laughs> pigs. I've yet to beat her. Awesome. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Let's check on my Duvo's pepper. Is it ready yet? No. Do I have this? Let's fertilize it. Can we do that? Alright, it's ready to rock. Let's go back to one. There you go. All right. Ah, oh, Dr. Zhu, I'm sorry. How you doing? Hey. Yeah, I can't line up. She the herbal worry. mixture is a great thing. It's easy to make and it works well. Always make enough of them to be safe. All right. I'll do that. Thanks, Doc. Goodbye. Oh, Sam, not, not you two, right? Yeah, you two. Arlo's blaming himself big time for what happened. But you know, you can't stop everything all the time. Good point, Sam. Alrighty, let's get into the day. Wow, that was a good way to start the episode. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff from the Commerce Guild. Dear Builder, thank you for your exemplary effort in discovering product issues in yesterday's inspection. You truly had the skills of a top tier builder and here's a little something for your time. Man, I'm so glad to see those power stones, which reminds me we had to go get some more, didn't we? All right. From Russo, Builder, unused old parts, take it, must come from the same school as Merlin. From Gale. Dear Raven, thanks for all the work you've done with Toadie. It's really nice that he's been able to channel his energy into something more productive. In fact, you'll be pleased to know that we've awarded Toadie a certificate for most improved portion. It's an award we've made up just for him. Hopefully it'll keep him on the right track. 
And for you, enclosed is a small thank you for your efforts. Oh, thanks. All right, wow, thanks, Mayor Gale. From Town Hall? Dear Raven, we're having a celebration for the winter solstice on the 23rd of this month at Central Plaza at 10 o'clock sharp. Everyone is invited to attend. Please try to bring along an assortment of food types for the hot pot. No worries, I can do that. Is there any more? No, wow, that's, that's a lot for one day. Let's check our map. Uh, all right, Pumpkin Princess, we've got our fertilizer. Let's go and deal with Pumpkin Princess. And then we'll come back and deal with our... Um... I know. Come on. There you go. Then we'll come back and deal with our workshop machines and see what we need to do hey. for the day. Hey, how you doing? Do you have time to look after the pumpkin princess for me? Yeah, Thanks. sure. I'm depending on... I understand. I'll get it done right away so we don't forget. There we go. Wow, 10 fertilizer this time. All right, where did she go? She's busy in the fields. She's probably prepping them for summer. Oh, uh, spring. Hey. Thank you so much, the princess told me to say. <laughs> there you go. Wow. All right. So we're waiting on the Duvos pepper. Oh, wait, what's that on my board? Oh, all right. Oh, the hot springs. We did. We almost forgot the hot springs meet up. Oh my gosh, let's go and celebrate. Hopefully we won't be too late. We'll take the Didi right out there right now because it'll take us too long to run. I did forget the hot springs. Look at that. Let's go straight out there. It's the opening day. That's right. We had so much on. We, we didn't have a lot on. We just had that until, you know, Sam came and visited. All oh, right, uh, the orange spot is still there, so let's um, let's go down to this opening ceremony. Hopefully. Oh wait, we're going in the wrong way. Ah, oh, there we are. Always watch your mini map uh, if you're wondering where to go. Well, now we have another attraction added to our city. I would like to thank A and G Construction, Higgins, and. And me, yeah. This is truly a thing of beauty. I know I speak for everyone when I say I'm ready for a dip. Ah, oh, so good. There we go. We've got it in our photo album now, so that's pretty good. What are we going to do now? Have we got everything off our boards? Yes. What do we have? Oh, what day is it? I know. Story of my life. Let's check our missions. All right, so I'm just waiting on the Duvo's Pepper. That's it. That's all I've got. Character-wise, no points to spend. Social-wise, who's looking? Oh, wow. Gus and Albert are still in the lead. Um, I don't want to marry Gus again simply because that to Lena or Yelen married Gus, so I'd like to do, have someone different. Uh, at the moment, it's looking like a, a duke out between Albert and Arlo. Man, Raven, I don't know what to say about your tastes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry, Raven, that was mean. Do I have any soup on me? I do, actually. All right, so the date will go well tomorrow. We'll, we'll have we'll have soup and hopefully, hopefully I won't end up... All right, I know, we'll see what the character chooses. All right, so with nothing else to do, although I do have to get to the Commerce Guild for a commission, it is Monday, so it's not a great big commission, but we're going to take the opportunity while we're here to grab some igneous rock and some zeolite. Uh, and then we're going to go down and we're going to look at our machines and see what we're missing because I'm pretty sure we're missing a few things that we need. Uh, like the iron was getting low. Uh, we still have relics to find, so we might go hunt up a thousand iron and then spend a bit of time hunting relics while we're doing that. So this is one of those quiet spells between the between events in the story, so we'll just make the most of it to get our materials together. I think too we can now build a factory, but to do that I need to have some money. How much money do I have? Yeah, okay, I'll try not to spend too much. We're going to have to uh, just save up for, for things. Alright, let's get that done. Might get some purple resin while we're here. And some, hopefully, I don't think I'll get any hardwood. 
I know, I tapped the wrong key while I was chopping and didn't like it. All right, back to our pickaxe. So there we go. Purple resin comes off these tall, skinny trees with the streaky bark. Um, and you can get it not just here. So if you need it before you open up the Western Plateau, you can actually get it from up at the top of up beyond WoW Industries. So once you've made the Bassanio lift, I don't think I've seen it across the river yet. I, I might have. We'll have to double check. Maybe if there's a commission for spider silk, because I haven't got any of that. I know, it involves hunting spiders while, while being bombarded by large pink birds who don't like us very much. Um, two. So this is another, it should be another purple resin tree. Alrighty, and this is a purple resin tree. So I'll just do the trees that are closest to the igneous rock uh, because otherwise we will be here all day. We're getting some iron wood. Actually, I didn't realize they were such a good source for it. Uh, three for the pickaxe. Let's go. So I think we also needed some more timber uh, for our furnaces. So that's not a bad thing. That is not a purple resin tree. That's a pine tree. That would give us some timber and pine cones. I think we can buy the drill from the... Um, from the waterfront, can't we? We might have to make a, a duck down there before we go mining and grab ourselves a, um, a drill. You can also get it uh, from when you have a high enough friendship with mint, um, but we haven't got that yet, so so we might go purchase ourselves a drill. I know, what did I say about not spending money? My yard's not really big enough for a factory at the moment, although once you take out all of those machines, um, it probably would be. And then we could put them all in the factory. But I find that the factory is slower too. The, the only problem is, is that it can process a few things like uh, bull bearings it can make uh, that we can't make on the workbench or with the assembly station that we've got. So we, we may have to uh, bite the bullet and get ourselves a factory. So there might be some fishing in our future. And and speaking of fishing, we haven't got the fish for the museum yet. So we could we could couple our fishing for funds with our fishing for the museum. That would kind of work. So we're not doing uh, anything that we, you know, just for one thing. We can do it for two or three things at once. I mean, that generally tends to... Ooh, we'll have... Man, I'm running past these things. We'll have... Um, yeah, so that, that, that'll help us kill a few birds with one stone uh, all at once. There we go. Let's go back to here. So the harbour is not far from here, and neither is a fishing spot. Uh, so we could we could kind of do that. I mean, I don't. A commission would be nice, but I don't necessarily need one. Although it does pay the bills, so you know, well, uh, just keep an eye on the time then. I was going to say I have to run off the the end, but actually we don't. We can just take the DD. I keep forgetting it's there. I also keep forgetting my llama is around. Poor little llama. Alright, let's chop down this. Actually, there is one thing we want to do while we're here. Let's uh, just run over the edge of this cliff. I think we can do it. So exploring is a really good thing to do in this game, like like many of these games. Uh, it's not as well rewarded in this area as it is in others, but uh, let's go for a quick jog and we'll just see what we can find. This area is kind of a little empty. I wonder if we'll one day come down here and find a massive cave. That would be cool, right? So we're going to just explore all the places. Um, we can't swim in this game, so we can't swim around the, the point to, to go and see. You know, we can't swim over to Starlight Island and we can't swim around here. We could try the pig. I wonder if the pig would reach Starlight Island from here. I know, but this is what, a, what you explore for, these things. Sometimes they've got cool stuff in and sometimes they don't have very much. It's a lot of effort to go. Uh, but this time we got the Eye of the Tiger Gem. 
Uh, it's not something we can put in the museum. I know the museum does not have a gemstone collection. I think it's missing that. I think it needs a gemstone collection. It needs a, a lapidary section. Or maybe, maybe they could, you know, put it in the library with Mr. Isaac. All right, so now that we've roamed over here, you know what? I think I will just head straight for the harbour. What time is it? 17.03. Yeah, let's go for a jog. There's a crab down there. We could beat up some crabs and get some mucus. Or we could stop in at the fishing spot that's down here. So, I mean, there are numerous ways off the plateau. Um, thankfully, we don't take damage in this game. I know. Yeah, so you've got to just... Uh, Go through. I might just put my hammer on me in case I need it. Wow, there are a lot of lot of stuff down here that we haven't really played with. What I actually came out here for was this fishing spot. So we could just see, like it's 1746, we could just see what um what sort of fish are in this very far spot. I, I keep forgetting. Alright, let's have a look. I know the irresponsible what? Fishing rod? What do you mean fishing rod? All right, fine. The irresponsible um, builder is now going to go fishing. Where, where are my worms? She might not if she doesn't have any worms. Uh-oh. I don't think I've got any baits anywhere. Let's um, equip the fishing rod. Oh no, I do. I just can't see them to save myself. There you go. All right. So the key to fishing in Porsche, if you're if you're new and haven't heard it before, is you do one tap when they bite, and then keep the bubble over them and do lots of little taps, because that way when they do something like this. Now, when you've got a high enough level of fishing uh, fishing rod, you don't have to worry too much. We've now got a firefish. What we're actually after? Ooh, these are good. We need these to make spicy fish soup. <laughs> I'm going to run out of backpack space soon. So what we're hoping for is an emperor fish. Um, the highest level fish you can get. We can put some of these low level fish in the museum as well. We just don't, they just don't count that much. The museum has a fish tank. I don't want to admit to how many times I played this game before I discovered that you could put fish in the fish tank. Um, I didn't really explore upstairs that much. But yes, you can put fish in the fish tank. Seaweed is good for cooking. So, all right, so we can catch lantern fish and those blue fish and banner fish. And I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky and catch a, uh, an emperor. Right now we've just got ordinary fish, so we will sell all of these. These aren't very expensive fish either, so it's not like fishing for, um, fishing for the big fish. But, like I said, we do need them for the museum. All right. And I'm not sure how they what the drop rate is for the important fish. So there's an emperor firefish. We want to the, the one above the king. Is it the king firefish? I always think the emperor is higher than the king. So yeah, we want a king firefish as well. So we want em, uh, normal emperor and king. And then what we'll do is we'll put all the normal fish into the tanks, and then we'll put all of the not enough stamina. Oh wow, raven. That's easy fix though. Uh, basically, we'll put all of the normal fish in, and then we'll put all of the kingfish in, and then we'll put all of the emperor fish in. But I don't think it matters if you don't. Oops. Ah, okay, this looks like a, a frisky fish. So lots of light little taps. Keep the keep the the circle over the um over the fish. Oops. And if you think you're going to get a solid draw, then press down the left mouse button and bring it in faster. But You've got to judge when you can do that. Otherwise, like banner fish, you can just hold the left mouse button down and bring them in once you've got your better fishing rod. But yeah, beyond that, you've got to... These guys can be frisky and they can be good. So that's one emperor of both kinds. So it is the emperor of fire and lantern we've got here. This is not a, a like a high return fishing spot. Your banner fish are only worth 30 until you put them into soup. Uh, as you can see, your lantern fish are worth 90. So there's like we have to catch 
11 or 12 of them before we actually make a profit. And these guys aren't worth a lot either. But we are, like I said, we're, we're fishing for kinds of fish as well as cash, so it'll be fine. Seaweed we can drive dry into nori and um, and cook with. That looks like our first emperor banner fish. All right, now we just need a kingfish from each of these. Kingfish are worth 5,000. Our, our entire night of fishing will be worth it, even if we catch one. Um, but they're also a very low drop rate, so we may not catch any. Especially these guys I had so much trouble with. 2200. I think we might head for home very, very shortly. We'll head for home at midnight. Uh, I don't think we'll make the DD stop. Maybe we'll just fish until we fall. We could do that. Fish until we catch our emperors or until we fall over. Whoops. Risky little fella. And friskiness is just not a, um, an indication of value. If you're wondering why I get to see what fish I've got on the line before I get to hook it, there's um, a perk in your character tree that lets you do that. So when you when you buy it, you'll be able to do the same. You can decide whether or not to let them go, but you do occasionally lose your bait. And I kind of like to have at least one fish per bait because it pays back and lets me buy more fish. So we have ordinaries of each kind now. Whoops. And then we have emperors of each kind. Now we're after kings of each kind. Bubblefish are the worst for running away, so that's why I'd, I developed the tap the left mouse button and keep the bubble over it before I even start pressing on the um, keeping the mouse button down to try and draw them in. So yeah, but with a fast fish, lots of little taps and focus on the bubble. On PC keyboard, I don't know what the equivalent is for your um, for your controller, because I don't play with controller. I don't have one. I might have to fix that. This is actually really relaxing. I keep forgetting to talk. Um, that's probably not a bad thing, right? The music's good without me. What? Man, these fish, and I have a full backpack. Let us fix the backpack problem. I know I wasn't going to spend any money, but we, we need another row. We'll unlock that. Ow. Uh, there we go. All right, and now we'll eat our stamina. I still haven't eaten my reward either. How many hours have we got? Two. Maybe we'll stop at that. We'll just see. We'll just see how we go with that. Okay, we can't fish with dried apple. What? I know. Try and press the right button here. It's almost impossible. The other thing too is it, it's uh, like a chance thing as to what fish you get on your line. So every cast could be a kingfish. Oops, 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 oops. I know, right? I love the difference too when you look at the kingfish. Some of them don't have a um, a big difference with their kingfish and some of them the kingfish are just ultra pretty. Um, so for instance, if I remember rightly, the lanternfish looks pretty much the same but um, more pugnacious and he, and he has stubble. Whereas the bannerfish is this floaty purple thing that just looks gorgeous 
Um, I forget what the lanternfish is. So, but I always like to see the, the variation for the kings. They're, um, they're quite good. It's getting late, I know. I'm not even bothering running for home. I'm just going to nap out on the sand here. And there we go. All right. Wow, I got lost in thought there for a minute. It's a bit of a rhythm just with the, the thing. All right. Let's wake up. <gasps> Winter solstice. Oh, no. This is going to be one of these series where everything happens at once. All right. Winter solstice. What we've got to do is we've got to have some food to throw into the hot pot. Um, actually, what's this? All right. Let's, let's increase our attack permanently by one. That's pretty awesome. And dragon soup. Oh man, we could do with defense. Okay, that that we can put on a shelf. We'll do that straight away. Uh, what else have we got in here? You know, compressors. Yeah. Is it the compressor or the vacuum cleaner? I needed to give Higgins. There's a sewing machine. I wonder if Carol likes those. Um, okay, what am I doing? We're going to put the... We'll just go around here. Uh, eat it open. It's been a while since I put stuff in here. Can I put... No, I can't put that in there. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to put the amulet in here because I can. It looks pretty. And that's it. That's all I can put in that cabinet. I think I need to work on my storage in here. You know, we've got a ton of stuff we can give to the museum um, once, once the fighting's over. Alrighty. Let's grab this out while we've got it. Grab this out from Ursula. Builder, we figured out the way to the All Souls. Come and see me. Alright, I've got to go see her uh, as well. Right now, what I really need to do is get everything out of my pack. Boom. Sort everything up. Uh, I've got a ton of timber in here. Okay, because I ran out of timber and my, my machines have probably all gone out. Let's uh, let's throw the timber into the uh, into the box. We good. All right. So we don't need to go chopping timber now. We're we're going to be okay. Uh, I'm going to keep the fish on me. Let's let's pop them down. All right. So we're going to grab our. Um, you know, I'm going to be freaking out about where my pickaxe is later. We're going to grab some food that uh, that we can put in these things. So let's uh, let's grab this. So farming, fishing, food and medicine. All right. And I'm going to just try and put them all on here. So I don't know how I'm going to organize this. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to, yep. Yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, those drawers are for Dana though. I really need them on board. Put some flour in. Uh, we won't put tea in. Catfish, someone usually asks for catfish, don't they? I know, this makes me sad. But I shouldn't need any of it, so... Hopefully no one asks for worms. I'm pretty sure they won't. Let's go for ingredients. So nearly nearly always someone will ask for salt. We'll pop that in. Um, actually, I'll grab the rock salt as well. Rock salt you can get from the collapsed wasteland if you're curious. So basically, this will help me to change uh, things over. I'm just going to switch out my chainsaw. Where's the salt? Uh, we will... I know, normally, normally someone will ask for this eventually. Uh, I don't think she's going to whisk me away straight away, so... Hopefully, 
Do you mind? There we go. That's that's for um, Emily. I'll see if I can catch up with Papa Bear. Uh, cinnamon. Someone might ask for cinnamon. All right. So this is all the ingredients that I have. I can go buy some more, but I'm fairly happy with that. Let's have a look at our gifts. We've got um, belts for Remington. Uh, I might make a few more of those. They're a good. Um, they're a good save me kind of thing. Uh, where are they? They're under here. All right. So we can make. I've got sunglasses on me. I will make two umbrellas. There we go. Uh, small satchel. No, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make about twenty of these. And I'm gonna make twenty of these. Actually, let's make forty of these. There's a few people who like them. Uh, crystal necklace. Yeah, I should make another. We'll make thirty of those. There we go. Uh, okay, so some of these I would have liked to have had, but I'm just not organized enough. A sapphire ring for Antoine. That takes my sapphires though. So as much as I like the boy, I don't like him that much. We get a waste pack for Sam. Um, we'll make all the feather dusters. Martha likes those. Coral necklace. I don't know who likes those. All right, the other thing. Yeah, photo album. We need photo albums for May. Uh, I don't know who likes the wooden basket. I know there's someone. Let me just make sure my buckets are up to up to scratch. Wait, buckets are in. All right, I can make pots of hysteria. Let's do that. Okay, that's for Albert. I know I shouldn't be encouraging him, but anyway. Uh, wooden buckets, we're getting low. There we go. See, this is what happens when you have. Ooh, crystal hourglasses. Let's make 20 of those. I know who likes those. Nora likes those. Uh, dream lamps, I know who likes those too. Let's um let's do that. Okay, I forgot this there's, there's an alternative for mint. Um, wooden drawers we've got for Dana. Uh, I don't remember if I've got them on board now and I can't be bothered going back to my box. So we're going to make 20 of them. Oops. Uh, crystal necklaces for Dawa. Yeah. Uh, we need iron pots. Iron pots. Iron pots. I've got 16. I don't know if I've got them on me. Now I have 10 on me. That'll be fine. Um... Oh, I know what we've missed. Minister Lee. Minister Lee's wall light. Let's make 20 of these. <laughs> I know, eventually, eventually we'll go and do something. Um, wall light, not wall lamp. All right, I think we're good now. So we should be good for gifts. Uh, how's that Duvo's pepper going? I know, any minute now. It's not ready yet. Let's check our map. Oh no, there's, right, let's go. We've got stuff to do. I don't think I've talked to my llama for like three days. She's going to hate me. We should take her to the party. Actually, yes, we should definitely take the llama to the party. Llamas are social creatures. She's been lonely. I'm sorry, llama. Hi, Cotton, how are you doing? You, would you like pats? Pats are good. Yeah, there you go. And more pats. I know, I'm sorry. I left you behind yesterday. That was very bad of me. There you go. All right. Uh, we will also gather that. I know, right? And we'll feed her. See, she's got plenty, plenty to eat. We'll add that up. That's good. And then we're going to go, we're going to grab these, gather that, and put some more on if we can. There we are, up on max. Let's go this way, and we'll gather this. All right. Now we can go. We have got everything for all our people. Uh, it's Tuesday. We might drop in and grab ourselves a commerce commission on the way through. And I left the llama behind. Oh. I know. I went. I went especially just to go get her. And I think I have a date with Arlo today. And I think it's going to be one of those dates that gets cancelled. Did I just eat? Oh, 
Please don't eat the raw meat. That's disgusting, Raven. I know, I pressed one. She ate it. Please stay. There you go, Cotton. I know last time I let her loose at the festival, she bounced all around the screen as we were trying to trying to do the solstice hot pot. So what I think we're going to do today for her is... Um, Alright, so we have A99 and 889. Uh, 102 and 824. 102 is good. 102. Oh, right, that'll do. It's waterproof cloth. He wants. He wants. So that's not hard to do. We could. We could probably duck out and get that. Uh, we won't though, because it's nearly hot pot time. Come on, Cotton. Let's go, little bouncy llama dude. We gotta go and chase these. Um. I know. We gotta go chase these arrows. These exclamation marks, because they vanish. Alright, just get rid of that. Oh no, and it starts. Don't... Thank you all for gathering here today. Before we start, I invite Minister Lee to deliver a sermon for us. Minister? Thank you, Gail. Well, nice having everyone out on this very cold day. I'm going to keep this short since the smell is oh so good. Django, you're getting good at this. I'm going to tell the story of how the winter solstice tradition got started. Long ago, in the bleakest period <laughs> of the age of darkness, <laughs> oh, there no. was no light to be found. People rose in the morning and went to bed at night in total blackout. Food was scarce, and the crops were failing, and it was cold. Very, very cold. Many people died. On an especially cold winter solstice, a few of the stragglers started a fire to keep warm. When one of them suddenly said, This llama. I still have a can of beans. Let's heat it up and share it. Someone followed by saying, That's not enough. I still have some mushrooms. Let me put that in as well. One after another, people gave up what they had left. By the time they were done, the pot was full of wonderful and filling things. These people ate and laughed and went on to survive that day and the next and the day after that until the sun finally came out. Oh, I love that story. It's actually one of the few good stories Minister Lee has. Even though we're seeing better times now, we need to remember what got us through those dark times. We shared what we had, helped one another, and together we made our current world possible so please never forget that god bless oh thank you minister lee thank you for that wonderful sermon minister now then everyone let's throw in what we have <laughs> all right but before we that do it smells I'm... so delicious let's get ready to eat before we do i'm grabbing this llama <laughs> please stop bouncing all right and now we're going to go and find uh no where'd she go okay she must be up on the walkway we won't chase her up there i'll just go and see what this blue exclamation sigh no i won't Alrighty. hey uh i need chilies All right, frogfish, I don't have. I have meat. Ah, oh, hurt. Man, you're a pain. Everyone loves the meat, though. So we're keeping the um, everything in the first tab. But if, as soon as you change it, golden salmon, I don't have. Meat for, to for Toby. You can increase your relationship the faster you throw it in. I mean, I could just... Oh wow, I can just keep throwing it in. Toby looks happy. What I'm trying to do is get that banner fish. Oh no, it went away. Too late. Oh, the hot pot's going down. Okay, lantern fish. If you're quick, you actually get more friendship points. Bamboo papaya, let's go. Where'd it go? There it is. I think I'm still on three. 
An egg I don't have, and I don't have snake meat. I'll just throw some more bamboo papaya in. I have some of that, whatever that is. It's this stuff. So just remember whatever you what what you've got your hand on. Pumpkin I've got. And put it into that slot. And meat for Dolly. Alright, we're just looking for the next ingredient. Pumpkin is on three. That was good. So now, now as you can see, the hot pot bar is going up. Prawn we've got. Where is it? And what we're doing is we're just trying to get the ingredients in that people want. And that increases our friendship level, but it increases the spice of the stew, which I think there's a steam achievement attached to. You. So um, there you go. Pumpkin. Dr. Zhu. So this will also improve our relationship, wow, in a random way. Um, the Martha. Salt. Salt is on two. Oh, uh. Okay, I know, you've got to make sure that it changes when you put stuff in. Alright, so the hot pot's gone down. Egg I don't have. an egg I don't do I have any I don't think I put any eggs in my backpack no I didn't okay my bad what else do we need ah oh. okay we can do that okay frog fish I don't have um gladiator fish I don't have other fish I don't have, snake meat I don't have. Catfish, I'm pretty sure I've got catfish. And I've got meat, so there's my meat. There's my catfish. Okay, oh, one, throw that in. And two, we'll throw that in. I think I'm a bit late for that one. Yeah, I missed that one. But the hot pot's going up, so that's good. The play with Arlo ended unexpectedly. This is not a surprise. Okay, we don't have any golden salmon. We're going to eat some. Oops. And for more ingredients. Oh, okay. I don't think I've got any carrot. No, I don't have any carrot. No turnip carrots for me. Oh, I do have that wooer. There you go. So this is also a great way to randomize how your relationships are going. Salt. And meat for Mr. McDonald. <laughs> if we were just threw in chilies. There we go. So that's um, that's basically the hot pot. All right, let's uh, go find our Merlin. Hey, Merlin. Oh, hi. What's I the didn't matter? notice you. Director, what's wrong? Everything that happened with that robot, it's all my fault. Well, don't be silly. None of us could predict that would happen. I thought I knew what I was doing, but maybe I did something wrong. What if it wasn't you? Huh? What if someone else tinkered with the machine? Director, I've seen you restore amazing items from the past. It doesn't make any sense that the robot should have gone amok. Maybe. I'll look around the town and see what I can find out. Someone might have seen something. There are usually a lot of people at the plaza. Yeah. Or I just screwed up. Oh, man, she's so hard on herself. She's like the rest of them. 
All right, where is my llama? There's my llama being good. I'm gonna get it out of here before it um before it decides to eat the hot pot because I don't think hot pot's good for little llamas. All right, so there is a solstice snowball battle. Uh, I'll go over there later. Okay. <laughs> Stay, llama. All right, let's grab Carol. Did you see anyone enter the research center the day before the robot went mark after Petra and Merlin had left? Now that you mention it, I did see someone enter. I didn't see who it was, but he or she was somewhere between 170 and 175 centimeters. That's oddly specific. Hey, I'm a tailor. Yep. Comes with a job. I don't want Toadie to be a bad influence on my girls. We don't need any hotheads in our town. Oh, now, Carol, that's a hot-headed thing to say. Petra. Hey, Petra, I want to talk to you about the robot. Sure. What's up? Did you see anyone suspicious in the center the day before the robot went up? A lot of people come and go. We are a popular establishment. But there were no more visitors after you left that day that I know of. Wait, you just kind of reminded me that I did see someone that day when I ended my work. That's Lee outside the research center by that bench and he didn't even notice me passing by. That's weird, right? I'm really excited that we're looking for all source. Also a little scared. <laughs> okay, a lot scared. Wow, these folk have a lot on their mind. Let's um let's join in. There we go. Winter Solstice Snowball fight. And I know, I'm not as quick as I should be, I don't think, on this. We do okay, though. It's the only time you get to snowball... Toby, you little rat. Get to snowball Higgins. With impunity. I know, what? what what's going wrong here? I can't aim to save myself. That'll teach you. <laughs> Come on, I'm right here. There you go. So for snowballing them, you actually do get um, a relationship. Do we snowball them again? No, we've done our fight. Let's go and talk to Minister Lee. Ah, you come back Hi. here. Hi, Granny. I've got your bucket. We'll catch Minister Lee. He won't get away. Oh, thank you so much. You're really welcome, Granny. All right, run, boy, run. Here we go. Hey, Minister, where were you at the night before the robot went amok? I was praying at the church. Uh-huh. Were you with someone? No, our rituals do not always require other people to be around. I see. Huh, nobody can confirm he was there. That's suspicious, but I still have no proof anyone sabotaged the robot. Maybe I need to check the robot itself. I feel sad for Toady. His mind's in the right place. I'm also against rapidly modernizing everything all at once. With all the relics we're using, it's just adding new layers of danger to our lives. Uh-huh, and he said that from afar. Papa Bear, I have not forgotten you. I actually got you, honey. You're welcome. Alrighty. Who we got? Sam. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Dang, this is a big pot. Where did they dig this up? <laughs> Whatever. You've got to try it. It makes it feel like summer has come early. <laughs> oh no, Sam. I don't know if that's a good idea. But I did get for you. Where is it? A hey, one of these. Thank you so much. I really like it. You're welcome. Ah, uh, Nora. I can actually see where Toddy's coming from. It's too bad he couldn't use a more peaceful way to air his frustrations. Uh-huh. Hey. Hey, how you doing? I usually don't eat spicy foods, but watching everyone else enjoy it, I just had to try it out. It really warmed me up. Whew. Yeah, oh, there you go. Uh, so we have for you one of these. I like it. You're very nice. You're very welcome. 
Uh, May? Hi! How you doing? I should be interviewing people and taking notes today. But my poor stomach just wants to eat. Uh-huh. I have for you a, uh... Where is it? One of these? Oh, for me? Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You know what we have forgotten temporarily? We just need to go over here because it's solstice day. We get a photo. There we are. Ah, oh, that is cute. All right. Now, let's get back to the gift giving. Did I actually make... I didn't know. That's right. I decided against sapphire rings. Higgins, Mars, I gave away your catfish. Doctor you. Okay. Hey. hey, how you doing? I have one of these for you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Martha. I've known Toadie a long time. I never expected him to do something like this. Wow, it's look, it's winter solstice. He, he'll be fine. Hello. Hi. It's times like these that I really miss my husband. I wish he could see this with his family. Oh. I know, bittersweet, a lot of these. We are looking for her one of these. Is that? Wow, I like it. You're, you're welcome. Wooer, I have no rubber tires. I should have thought of that. Toddy, I don't have your favorite fish. Mint, mint. I see resistance to my projects sometimes. There are always people who are against change. In the past, I've seen some real violence. See, he's, he's a lot tougher than he looks, this boy. Hmm. Ah, come back here. Perhaps because I grew up in an orphanage, the food there was always so tasteless, but it's what I'm used to. The hot pot here is a little too greasy and spicy for me. Still, I love the festival atmosphere. It makes me feel all warm and happy inside. It does. Uh, for you, hopefully this too will make you feel happy. A dream lamp. Thank you so much. For I someone, really like it. For someone who loves sleeping. Uh, do I have any coffee tables on board? Not today. Sorry, Rusu. Uh, Nora. Nora, Nora, Nora. Nora, we've, we've given stuff to you. McDonald, did I give you a bucket? Hello. Hey, how you doing? I never got why people want to do a big hot pot. I'll take a cheeseburger and fries over that any day. Okay. So for you, Mr. McD, I have a bucket. Thank you so much. Hey, I really okay. like it. All right. Phyllis. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Every city has its own way of celebrating this day, but they all involve some form of hot pot. I'd say Portes is the hottest of them all. Oh, she really likes it here. So for her, she likes these. We'll give her that. There we are. Is that? Yeah. Wow. I like it. There we go. Now, do I have any dried apricot? I do. Little Bratnik. I read that there should always be a balance between development and sustainability. The waters around Portia must have meant a whole lot to Mr. Toadie. There you go. Hello. Hey, how you doing? It's nice when everyone comes together. It is. Uh, I only have these for you today. This is incredible. You've really embraced the holiday spirit. Thank you. Speaking of which, Remington. I heard about the night from Arlo. If he's really as tough as I'm told, then we might need an army to subdue him. <laughs> Or another night, Remy. Ah, Hello. Come back here. Oh man, this is so good. Reminds me of my mama's cooking. I'm gonna eat as much as I can today. Man, you're not gonna need that belt I just gave you then. You're gonna have to loosen it. Here. Thank you. I never expected you to give me this. Hey yo. Uh Emily. Hey! How you doing? Would you look at all that food churning in there? It looks so inviting. I wanna get some more. Off you go then, but on your way, you can have this pumpkin pie. Wow, I've always wanted this. Thank you. You're welcome. Jack. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I have for you... Where are they? Yep, an aroma Is apple. That? Yep. Wow, I like it. You're very welcome. Uh, Antoine Lee. Lee. Hello. I've got something to brighten up your day. Looking at this warm scene brings a tear to my eye. Ah. There's hope for humanity yet. There you go. Uh, so, for you. I know. There you go. It really is a nice present. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Miss Lucy. Miss Lucy likes... Hello. Hey, how you doing? The kids are having so much fun. I'm really enjoying this as well. Oh, I was going to give her a necklace, but I actually think... Yes, we have a small dagger for Miss Lucy. Wow, I've always wanted this. Thank you, I'm so happy. You're so welcome. Gus, um, how you doing? I'd say this is one of Django's better offerings. Still, the taste hasn't changed since he's been here. You only get it once a year, don't complain. Now, did I keep a book on me? Yes, I did. Structural Dimension Theory. You've chosen wisely this time. You're very welcome. Ginger, hey. how you doing? The celebration always brings a smile to my face. It's so warm and comfy here. The cat can smell the fish. I do get a little jealous though. Yes, I can't eat anything spicy thanks to my condition. Man, I would give her something she could eat, but I don't have any on me. Let's uh, give her... Where, where's the umbrella? There we go. I like it. Thank you. You're you don't very... have to bring me any gifts though. I would love to be able to do that with her too. Alright, you. Time is ticking. If that rogue knight somehow gets ahead of us, there's no telling what that could mean for the free cities. You wanted to see me. Builder, glad you're here. The operation is about to start. Let me explain. From the locator computer, we've uncovered that to reach the all source location, we'll need to manually turn on three keys at three separate locations. Following? Mm -hmm. We have identified these locations, but two of them are in the somber marsh, north of Portia. And from what I've gathered, they're hard to get to. That's priority number one for you builders. You and Higgins are to build up all the necessary links with the marsh. Since you got here first, you get to pick which route you want to establish. The western route or the eastern route. Just so you know, the western route is a bit tougher to build. Uh, I'm not sure if I need a factory for this, but we'll take the risk. Picking the tougher route, huh? Good for you. All right. Here are the diagrams you'll need for this route. Be quick about it. We don't know when the rogue knight will spring back into action. In All the right. meantime, we have a team prepared to take a dive into the location south of the marsh. Okay. Got Everyone anything else to say? Be careful with that rogue knight running around. Don't worry, we'll catch him soon. Uh huh. Man, I I just don't like her. Where is the invisible brother? Because he deserves some sunglasses, and he's about the only one I can. I think my brother Dawa has finally found his happiness. <laughs> he and Dana are perfect for each other. Oh. I'm glad the new harbor is done. It'll help up my business a lot. Hey. Yeah. Is that Wuwa? Ah, uh, yeah, that's not the brother I'm looking with for. My brothers eating hot pot really made my day, but I need some water. Ah, uh, okay. Bye. Okay, rubber tires for him. He's not the brother I'm looking for. I always get these guys muddled up. There's Dawa. Well, Dawa, I can help. I just completed a deal with Vega Five on shipping more wood their way. <laughs> I think this new harbor will bring a busy year for our tree farm. Oh, that's so good. Ah uh ah. -uh. Hey. Hey. I carried this part here, you know, along with Polly, but I carried the heavier <laughs> end of it. These guys in their rivalry with um, all sorts of things. Now he, oh, that's right. He likes these. I like it. Hmm, you're very nice. You're welcome. Okay, who else? Oaks. Papa hey. here said he's saddened that Toadie's done a crime. We sometimes fish with him by the river. Uh huh. Hi. Hi. I hope there's a lot of meat in the hot pot this year. Ah, uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, now. He likes these. Aru! What a wonderful <laughs> gift! Thank you, friend. Is this holiday always this great? Uh, yes. Now, Wuwa, Dawa, I'm actually looking for the invisible brother. Uh, where is he? Okay, there's Jack. I've gifted him. Polly. Uh, Polly, I've gifted. Chiwa. Erwa. Chiwa, Erwa. Sanwa. Green brother. Blue brother. Uh, where's Toby? Alright, well, let's give Molly. Did Mr. Toady really burn down the harbor? I thought he was a nice man. He's he's okay, Molly. It's Hi. He just didn't do See it. You. Express himself well. I'm going to have so much fun today. I hope Mum will have some new cloth for me next year. 
All right. Do you like apricots? I think one of these girls does not like apricots. Okay, that's the girl that does not like apricots. She prefers scarves. Dolly, however. Hello. <laughs> I love this holiday. There's no school, and I get to eat yummy food. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, guess what? For you, I have something healthy. There you go. For me? Uh huh. Wow. And Toby. Hello. Hello. Okay, now do I have a slingshot on me? No, I don't. So we're going to give Toby probably an apple to wash his hot pot down with. Where are the apples? There they are. You're very welcome, Alice. I did not forget you. Mr. Musa bought some more of my flowers. He said my flowers reminded him of his wife. How sweet. Uh, Mr. Musa didn't even miss a beat with that arson event. He told me the next day that he has full trust in the mayor to get the fort off the ground and he'll provide full financial support. That's some businessman. Uh, that is. Where did Alice go? Alice? Hey. hey. Uh, vegetable salad. You know, I'm not sure I've got that on me. No, I've got fruit salad on me. Yeah. Alright, I'll give you this instead. You're welcome. Okay. I think that is everyone. Okay, except Pinky, who's driving me crazy. Yes, meow. Now, Pinkster, I actually have fish on me, but not your favourite. So you can have... Actually, we'll give her an emperor. No, I want to keep the emperors. Sorry, Pinkster, you're, um, you're out of luck. You can have a firefish, because you have a temper. You like firefish? Okay, that'll do you then. Uh, who else have we got? There's Phyllis. I know, I don't think I got any, um, no, I didn't. All right, let's just sort everything up. There we go. All right. Uh, oh yeah, QQ. Hey, QQ. How you doing? Oh, you like? You good? All right. I, I have for you. It's not much, but today I have an apple for you. There you go. You're welcome. Uh, and scraps. You like apples too, don't you? I know. Woof woof, I know. Here you go. I can give you dog food, but I think you like these better. You do? Alright, there you go. Alright, I don't think I can check the robot. It's just too late at night. What is that other arrow on my thing? Oh, wait, where did I leave the llama? It's a llama in the snow. Oh, the poor little thing. Oh, man. Let's just check my map. All right, so that's the robot bit. And that's that's where I've got to put everything. Okay. So my missions, I have the Duvo's Pepper, the Waterproof Cloth. Uh, check the robot. And we need to build all of these. And I'm just going to make sure. I'm not sure I can build all of them where I, where I think I can. Uh, hmm. Oh, and I have a letter from the snowball fight from Gail. Hello Raven, thanks for participating in the snowball fight. Here's a little something. I hope you had a great time. I know. Mining. Uh, sort of all. Let's go. Alright, let's just get everything away. I think I have a fishing box. So all of the fish can go in there and I'll think about them later. We need to also check the prices to make sure we're not selling them on a cheap day. Uh, like on a on a bad day. Right, now the next thing we need to check would be our ingredients box. We need another one of these, but... Like what? Alright, so all of this can come out of the ingredients box. Otherwise, I'll be a sad panda and I won't know where it all is. Right, let's put the ingredients in the ingredients box. I mean, you know, let's get funky. The, uh, we need all of that in there. There we are. And we'll put all of this in there. I know, we're not going to fit them all back in, but we'll do our best. Uh, right. I know, I don't think I have an ingredients too. So everything else is going back into the... Okay, the food and medicine box definitely needs a, uh, 
the food and the medicine to go in it. Let's just... I know, it could just be that I want all of this to go... Okay, that's not going to... All right, let's get this out of the food and medicine box. Wait, that was food. I know, calves are food too. I know, did I say that out loud? I did. Uh, we're going to keep those on me. We're probably going to need them. All right, food and medicine. Let's put all the food and medicine in the food and medicine box. That will include the medicinal herbs. Oh, I forgot to give what's his face, his, um, his hysteria. I know, Albert, his hysteria. Bandages, bubble fish soup. Fruit salad, that was meant to go to the hairdresser. I know. I am hopeless. All right, how are we looking for space now? We're looking a lot better for space. Uh, now, I have a badger's box. I think it's pretty full, though. Uh, yeah. Okay, we, we need another one of those. All right, so I think that's everything there. I've ne uh, I need to put everything back where it belongs. Let's pop this down here. And we'll put this down here. We'll put this down here. We'll put this in slot 8 where it's usually meant to be. I didn't see Dana to give a gift to. Um... I'm just going to toss this up here. Uh, we need to put that in the crafting box. Let's go and do that. Otherwise, I'll be looking for it and I won't find it. I know. It's it's all of these post-event stuff. Uh, that needs to be dealt with. Do, 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 do. There we are. Uh, and we'll put these cubes away. I know. We're going to use them in a minute because we've got a bunch of things that need refueling. Okay. Well, it's 10 o'clock. All right, let's um, let's do a quick round of our machines. I know, wow, the big the big machines are a lifesaver because you can just keep going. They're 157, so they're not 200 yet. Let's go with this one. Hey, Pinkster, you being friendly? Ah, uh, yeah, we need some more of that. Uh, I need to look in my book and just see, just see what's going on. All right, we'll get that going. I still haven't upgraded my house. That's insane, right? Get that going. Charcoal is always a good thing. We'll get some more of that because we're going to need it. And then what we'll do is once we get to 250 of it, we will actually change over and get everyone making carbon steel. Because we need to do that faster. Bronze are at 239, so we're nearly at 250. Good. You used to, I'm pretty sure you used to get the option to um, to do both tasks, but now it seems like you only ever get the option to do one. Oh, that was not a good one to have run out of fuel, was it? No, it was not. Let's... Um, I know, it's just habit to keep this running now. Now I should have, yeah, I should have a bunch of furs. We're going to get that one to keep running with the fur. We're going to use our last cube on this one. There we go. Get that running to get some more of that going. Uh, we are, right, we need that. How much bronze plate do I have? Not enough. Craft that up. steel plate oh boy that that was a bad one to not have fuel for all right so we need to make sure we've got our crystals on us tomorrow yeah all right fuel depleted on all of these big guys uh yeah so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab uh, what we can off them we'll refuel that it's doing iron bars let's get it to continue that they're useful and away we go with this one. Make that run. I know, I, I neglected them for a whole day. Alright, and what we might do is we might just see... I'm out of mucus. Right, that's okay. Well, in that case, we'll just get it to make some more of these. 
and we'll pop a power stone in there. We're going to take all our power stones down to the research center tomorrow and we're going to exchange them for power cubes. Uh, I think, all right, that one's out of power as well. No worries. Uh, that one's good. I'm just going to make some wooden boards. We, uh, we're going to need them. Uh, we don't have a lot of them. All right, I can't refill these, so I'll just grab the stuff off them. Uh, and I think I better go and grab my llama. I know, where is she? She's over here, the poor little thing. She's like, you left me. I know, I'm sorry. You are such a good llama. Hey, Cotton, let's go home. I know, we jump her into the stable. There you go, sweetie. Tuck you in for the night. And I think we'll tuck little Raven in for the night and call this episode a day. If you've enjoyed it, please hit like. And if you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll check you later. Take care out there.